This is my senior sister, my elder sister. This is my mom facing the coffee. This is the flowers they were taking for him. This is me and my mommy's back. My dad died when I was two months. And every time, since then I knew of grew up to know myself, I used to feel like how much I can go to the barrier, how much I can see, how much I can see him, how much I can know the grave, know the grave the very well. Martina's father was a Christian policeman. He was killed in religious clashes in 2005 when she was just two months old. The young girl has never been able to accept the fact that she didn't have a father. And her father has never had a proper burial. So Martina does not have a place where she can go to find closure. When I go to school and I hear my friends talking about their daddy, I used to feel I have a dad too and I used to still pray that God would give me a father. In Nigeria, it often happens that a widow is totally abandoned by the family of her deceased husband. Martina's mother was also left to fend for herself. That made life extremely difficult. And of course, the young Martina was keenly aware of that. She freely shares her sadness and anger with one of the Nigerian trauma caregivers with open doors. It was not good at all. Every load was being dropped on my mommy's head. She would want to feed us, pay the school fee. Everything. My daddy brought that did not even care about us. Mm. It's okay. But in your heart now, what do you feel? You feel you can forgive them. Okay. I've forgiven them a long time ago. But so you should not feel bad. Hmm? Because you've forgiven them, let it go. Because it's going to add more burdens to you. Hmm? During one of the trauma care sessions, in which Martina was part of a children's group, she made this drawing about the burial of her father that had never happened. The drawing got the attention of caregivers. Through drawing rather than words, Martina pictured her troubled feelings about never knowing her father. Since the day my mommy brought me for a program here, yeah, drama healing program, I got to bury him. I got to bury him myself. So since that day, I used to I have, I used to feel normal. I used to have rest. I used to have rest. I used to feel normal. I used to feel as if there is a heavy load from my head. She was able to get up to that point where she came to bury her father in her own way. And in her mind, that was what was lacking, for her to really believe that her father was dead. She had to bring out that expression from her mind and offload the burden that she has been carrying for a very long time. In the north of Nigeria, Open Doors is building a trauma centre. Individuals or groups can spend a few days here in our care for specialised trauma care. The trauma centre will begin operating in the second half of this year. We have different kinds of trauma in Nigeria. Now we have um, Boko Haram, we have war, we have ethnic crisis, we have religion crisis, and everywhere people are traumatized. Some people behave abnormally because they are going through a lot of stress. So now with this building, it's going to help people to come to, to relieve their pains. We have also the offices where we do counseling, where we're going to be doing counseling, and then the building where people can come and stay and we really appreciate the fact that this place is being provided for people to be healed. 